Today's episode is packed with some of the most exciting stories about the future of technology. Why Elon Musk's Grok 5 might become the first true artificial intelligence. And what's changing in how we define AGI. Amazon is turning package delivery into a sci-fi adventure with smart glasses. StarCloud plans to launch entire data centers into space, powered by NVIDIA GPUs in orbit. ChatGPT is becoming the new browser, keeping 90% of users engaged. And at the end, a visual experiment. One prompt, 12 AI models, and 12 completely different characters. All that and more in this episode. Watch till the end so you don't miss a thing. It seems Elon Musk truly believes that his new system, Grok 5, is getting close to the boundary the world calls Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. Recently, he claimed that the probability of Grok 5 achieving AGI is now around 10% and rising. At first, it sounded like another dose of Musk's trademark optimism. But soon after, a new detail emerged that completely changed the context of his statement. When a user on X asked whether Grok 5 would be capable of continuous learning, Musk replied, Dynamic reinforcement learning is important. Grok 5, like smart humans, will learn almost immediately. That single sentence sparked intense discussion, because continuous learning is considered the key barrier standing between current AI and true machine intelligence. If Grok 5 can really learn continuously without forgetting what it already knows, it would mark a technological breakthrough. The main weakness of today's large language models is something called catastrophic forgetting. When an AI learns new tasks, it often loses older ones. That's because new data overwrite the neural connections that stored past knowledge. The human brain doesn't have this problem. We can learn new things without losing what we already know. That's what makes us thinking beings, not just memory machines. Scientists have been trying to solve catastrophic forgetting for decades. One promising new approach appears in a paper titled Continual Learning via Sparse Memory Fine-Tuning. The authors propose the idea of sparse memory. Instead of updating every parameter during training, the model only adjusts the specific memory cells relevant to new information. The rest stay frozen. In other words, the model doesn't erase its old knowledge. It simply adds new pages to its notebook. The results are remarkable. Losses in old tasks are reduced by almost tenfold compared to standard fine-tuning. This means an AI can learn new things without destroying old skills, like a human who keeps getting smarter every day. It opens the door to truly self-improving intelligence, capable of continuously accumulating knowledge. If Grok 5 really uses dynamic reinforcement learning or similar mechanisms, we may be looking at a system that updates itself in real time. No retraining, no resets, just adaptive cognition. That's a major step toward a self-developing form of AI, where every interaction makes the model smarter, without human intervention. Still, even if Grok 5 has conquered forgetfulness, we're not at true AGI yet. It would still need reasoning, planning, motivation, goal awareness, and self-correction. This may be the creation of a brain, but not yet a mind. Yet these are exactly the kinds of breakthroughs that could one day lead humanity to its first encounter with an artificial intelligence that learns and grows entirely on its own. Perplexity has released a comprehensive guide on how to use artificial intelligence in the workplace. The document, titled Perplexity at Work, a guide to getting more done, serves as a practical handbook for productivity in the AI era. The authors argue that neural networks are no longer just experimental toys. They've become real tools that can reduce workloads and make teams more efficient. The 40-page guide explains how to integrate AI into daily workflows and delegate repetitive tasks to it. It includes real-world case studies, prompt templates, writing tips, and ready-to-use scenarios for different professions. In essence, it's a practical manual that shows how AI can assist with documents, communication, data analysis, and research. While the guide focuses on Perplexity's own tools, its lessons are universal. The same principles apply to other AI assistants like CHATGPT, Claude, or Gemini. The authors emphasize that success with AI isn't about memorizing commands, 
It's about building a systematic partnership where AI becomes an active member of the team. Perplexity describes this project as an effort to help people spend less time on mechanical work and more on what truly requires human thinking. The guide is available for free on the company's website and has quickly become one of the most talked about resources on how to use AI effectively, not just for curiosity's sake, but for real results. Uber is accelerating its shift to electric vehicles by offering US drivers a $4,000 grant to replace their gas-powered cars with EVs. The initiative is part of the company's broader plan to make all rides in the US and Europe fully electric by 2030. At the same time, Uber is retiring its Uber Green brand. The service will now be called Uber Electric and will feature only fully electric vehicles. Earlier this year, the U.S. federal program providing a $7,500 tax credit for electric car purchases came to an end. That decision made EVs less affordable and more difficult for Uber drivers to switch without increasing their expenses. Uber's new grant program aims to offset some of those costs and help drivers transition smoothly to cleaner transportation. At launch, the Uber Go Electric program will be limited to drivers in Colorado, Massachusetts, California, and New York. Eligible participants can apply for the $4,000 grant when purchasing either a new or used electric car, an amount roughly equivalent to the former federal tax credit for pre-owned EVs. Uber has been pushing its green transportation strategy for several years. Last year, the company signed a partnership with Chinese automaker BYD to deploy 100,000 electric vehicles across Europe and Latin America. Currently, more than 200,000 Uber drivers worldwide already use EVs on the platform. In this way, Uber isn't just updating its fleet. It's building a new urban mobility ecosystem where electric cars become the default. For drivers, the switch means lower fuel costs and potentially more passengers. For Uber, it's a decisive step toward a cleaner, more sustainable future where every ride leaves a smaller footprint. Amazon tests smart glasses for delivery drivers. AI meets the last mile. Amazon has unveiled a new tool that could completely change the way its delivery drivers work. Smart glasses powered by artificial intelligence. The device projects navigation, detects hazards, and assists with deliveries, all without drivers needing to constantly look at their phones. Every day, Thousands of Amazon drivers deliver millions of packages across the world. The company has long experimented with technology to make this process faster and safer. Now it's combining its expertise in computer vision and machine learning into one device, lightweight glasses designed for all-day wear. These smart glasses were built specifically for Amazon's delivery associates. They allow drivers to scan packages, follow turn-by-turn -turn directions, and confirm deliveries directly through a built-in display. The entire process is hands-free, keeping drivers' eyes on the road and their hands on the job. As one test driver put it, you don't have to look down at a phone anymore. All the info you need is right in front of you. The glasses use AI-powered sensing and computer vision to interpret surroundings in real time. Once the driver parks, the system automatically activates and displays the next delivery details from locating the right package inside the van to guiding them on foot to the customer's doorstep. Navigation prompts appear in the driver's field of view, and the system adapts to complex routes such as apartment complexes or gated communities. Amazon says the glasses were developed with input from hundreds of drivers who tested early prototypes and offered feedback on comfort, display clarity, and usability. The result is a lightweight, all-day wearable paired with a small controller that clips into the delivery vest. It includes a swappable battery for full shift use and an emergency button for contacting support if needed. The project is part of Amazon's broader effort to create a fully digital delivery ecosystem. Future versions of the glasses are expected to do even more, detecting when a package is dropped at the wrong address, adjusting to low-light conditions, or alerting drivers to pets in a yard. Since launching its delivery service partner program in 2018, Amazon has invested billions in driver support, from training and route optimization to safety tools. The new glasses are the next step toward a seamless, AI-driven delivery system 
that supports drivers from the warehouse to the customer's front door. Amazon believes this technology will make deliveries not just faster, but smarter and safer. The less time a driver spends glancing at a screen, the more focused and efficient their journey becomes. Data centers are heading to space, how StarCloud plans to move computing beyond Earth. In the coming months, humanity may take its first real step into a new technological era. The American startup StarCloud, a member of the NVIDIA Inception program, is preparing to launch the world's first satellite data center, capable of performing AI computations directly in orbit. The mission is simple but bold. Prove that artificial intelligence and data processing can move into space, where energy is free and cooling is nearly effortless. The StarCloud-1 satellite is scheduled to launch in November. Weighing about 60 kilograms and roughly the size of a small refrigerator, it carries an NVIDIA H100 GPU, the same class of chip used in the world's largest terrestrial data centers. It will be the first time a high-performance GPU of this kind operates beyond the atmosphere. According to the company, StarCloud-1 will deliver computing power 100 times greater than any previous space-based system. The concept behind the project is straightforward. Move part of Earth's digital infrastructure to where energy and cooling are no longer scarce. On Earth, data centers consume enormous amounts of electricity and fresh water, becoming one of the fastest growing sources of CO2 emissions. In space, those limits vanish. Solar panels provide near unlimited energy, and excess heat can be radiated directly into the vacuum, turning space itself into a natural heat sink. StarCloud's long-term vision is an orbital power station generating 5 gigawatts, equipped with solar and cooling panels stretching 4 kilometers across. The company says such a system could reduce its carbon footprint tenfold compared to a ground-based data center, even after factoring in rocket launch emissions. As Philip Johnston, StarCloud's co-founder and CEO, puts it, In 10 years, nearly all new data centers will be built in outer space. The first real-world applications for these orbital centers will be Earth observation and analysis. Satellites today send terabytes of imagery and radar data back to ground stations for processing, a process that can take hours. But analyzing data directly in orbit could deliver insights in minutes. That's critical for detecting wildfires, assessing crop yields, or coordinating emergency responses, where every second counts. StarCloud plans to run AI models, including Gemma, Google's open-source large language model, directly in orbit. Future missions are expected to adopt NVIDIA's next-generation Blackwell platform, projected to deliver up to 10 times more performance than the current Hopper chips. For now, space-based data centers might sound like science fiction, but the idea is quickly becoming less far-fetched. With limitless solar energy, perfect cooling conditions, and no infrastructure bottlenecks, orbit may soon become the ideal environment for next-generation computing. In a decade, the word cloud could take on a far more literal meaning, as a real cloud of servers floating high above the Earth. ChatGPT has set a new record among all digital platforms. According to a study by Data.ai and X Analytics, about 90% of users stay active a month after signing up a higher retention rate than any other app in history. For comparison, YouTube keeps around 85% of users, Instagram 80%, and TikTok 77%. Even more impressive, roughly 80% of ChatGPT users remain active six months later. Analysts call this the smiling retention curve, when some people eventually drop off, but those who stay become increasingly engaged over time. Researchers say the reason is simple. ChatGPT is no longer a novelty. It's become a tool. For millions, it's now part of their daily routine, helping them write, analyze data, learn languages, code, and even communicate with clients. In many ways, ChatGPT has turned into the new browser, the main gateway to the internet for a growing number of users. No digital product in the past 20 years has achieved this level of engagement or earned such deep trust. Microsoft has found a new way to remind users about its AI assistant, Copilot. Now, if you open ChatGPT or Perplexity in the Edge browser, a small animated prompt appears in the address bar. Try Copilot. 
It's easy to notice, and once you click on it, a sidebar with Copilot opens up, letting you ask questions or upload files. At first glance, it looks harmless, just a handy suggestion. But in reality, it's part of Microsoft's ongoing marketing campaign. The company has already been promoting Copilot through Bing, showing ads whenever people search for ChatGPT, Gemini, or even Google Chrome. Now, the push is built right into the browser itself. Interestingly, the prompt doesn't appear on all sites, only on those that compete with Copilot, like ChatGPT, Perplexity, DeepSeek, and even Comet. For some reason, it doesn't show up on Gemini's website. That makes it clear that Microsoft is targeting specific rivals, not just promoting its assistant in general. In essence, this is in-browser advertising disguised as a friendly suggestion. Users might think Edge is simply trying to help, but it's really keeping them inside Microsoft's ecosystem. It's not the first time this has happened either. Edge previously displayed similar alerts when people tried to download Chrome, claiming it used the same technology but with Microsoft's trusted protection. Now the same strategy has reached the AI world. While other companies focus on building new models and tools, Microsoft is turning its browser into a marketing channel for Copilot. And what used to be just Bing ads has now moved directly into the websites of its biggest competitors. Researchers have introduced a new multimodal AI model called LFM2VL3B, which delivers results on par with much larger systems despite its compact size. With only 3 billion parameters, it can handle complex image analysis, text recognition, and real-world scene understanding almost as accurately as models 10 times bigger. In the MMIFEVAL benchmark, which measures a model's ability to follow instructions, LFM2VL3B scored 51.8%. On real-world QA, which tests understanding of real-world objects and scenes, it achieved 71.4%. These numbers place it alongside mid-sized, giant models in the 7 to 30 billion parameter range. Researchers also highlight that LFM2VL3B rarely hallucinates. In the POPE benchmark, the rate of fabricated facts was minimal. That's a rare trait for multimodal systems, especially compact ones. The model handles visual reasoning, OCR, and multi-image analysis equally well, while remaining lightweight enough to run on a single GPU. That makes it especially appealing for startups and research labs looking for powerful, yet affordable AI solutions. LFM2-VL-3B is already available on Hugging Face, where developers share benchmarks and encourage others to try it out. It may become an example of how small models are catching up with their massive counterparts, not through scale, but through smarter architecture and precise fine-tuning. An experiment popped up online. The same prompt was sent to 12 different AI image generators, and the results couldn't be more different. 12 pictures, 12 versions of the same scene, as if 12 photographers each shot it in their own style. Some images look like early 2000s ads, others feel straight out of a high-budget series, and a few resemble quick phone snapshots. The lineup includes Soul, WAN 2.2, 2 Flux, Midjourney, and even the experimental Nano Banana. Each model interpreted the prompt in its own way. Some went for glossy perfection, others for something more natural and expressive. Every image has its own idea of beauty, its own mood and texture. The experiment went viral because it perfectly shows how differently generative AIs think. Give them the same input and they build a dozen unique worlds, from realism to full-on cinematic fantasy. The only question left is, which one feels the most real to you?